Riots and demonstrations continue across the country calling for police departments to be disbanded, defunded or overhauled. But many are sounding the alarm over these proposals. And our next guest says it's gone too far and is releasing a brand new documentary supporting police. Kevin Jackson is a three time Amazon best selling author, an award winning filmmaker and executive director of Seeking Educational Excellence. He's also the producer of Bleeding Blue and we'll talk about the new film. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, my pleasure. So first I have to ask what prompted you to make Bleeding Blue? Well, we made it back during the time of the Michael Brown thing when, of course, everything was blowing up. People were lying, obviously, about what the Darren Wilson, the officer, did. And the fallout of that was uh, good people got fired, uh, Chief Tom Jackson, many others. Uh, and then, of course, this uh, racist terrorist movement known as Black Lives Matter uh, was engendered over this. And so we just decided we need to tell the truth. If people think of this as a pro-cop film. I think of it as a pro-truth film. So we just decided to do something different. And the, the impetus was let's save lives, police lives, and let's save lives in the black community. So we made what I will tell you is an absolutely spectacular film, and it was done uh, out of an education uh, with the idea that we would be educating America on what's really happening and hopefully presenting wh what we are, what's happening today. And here we are a year later after the film was finalized, and it's about to be re-released on, uh, on video, on digital. And we're in a worse situation, if you ask me, than we were when we made it. What are some of the biggest misconceptions and how does the media play a role in this? The biggest misconceptions are that blacks are being targeted by police and that there's some disproportionate number of blacks that are killed by police as opposed to any other group. The fact is, American Indians, believe it or not, are disproportionately killed per capita than any other group. And whites would be next and then it goes down the line. Blacks are not being targeted by police. So that's the biggest misconception. The other is the number of police that are killed by blacks, perps that are killed police. So just to put it in perspective, uh, it's probably something like uh, 14 or 15 unarmed blacks that are killed by police each year. And police, maybe there'd be 40 to 50 police who are killed each year. So there are lots, of, you know, and, I, and I'm not going to get into the statistics because it depends on the year and things like that. But a disproportionate number of police are killed doing their jobs, chasing bad guys than any number of of any ethnic group. So that's a, a big misconception. And the other misconception is just how I mean, not misconception necessarily, but what do police do every day? The number of interactions that police have with people. Black folks call the police seven times more than whites. And why would they be calling the police if they're being targeted? So th the movie just sort of points out these, there's not only these misconceptions, but what do police really do? What do they face every day? White cops are going into black neighborhoods and helping uh, save lives. You've probably seen many of the videos these days where the black, where uh, police officers are helping babies stay alive and getting things out of their lungs and parents are distraught and, and things like this. Why don't we tell those stories? So. There's a, an agenda against police that needs to stop, and I'm glad that my team was on the forefront. The second part of that agenda has to deal with pushing back against Black Lives Matter. It's just a, it's built on a lie. It's a cancer to America, and I'm glad that again our team, the Black Sphere team, and Seeking Educational Excellence are doing things to educate people about these types of organizations and hopefully pushing back on them for good. And you mentioned that the film is going to be re-released. Where can our viewers go to learn more about the film and watch it? Bleedingbluemovie.com. There's a trailer that we, uh, what they call four walled it uh, late 2018, put it in theaters to test it out and uh, they'll see some audience reaction. But I'll tell you this, uh, we had police officers and their families crying on our shoulders after the release of this film. I'm proud to say that. They were just so thankful that somebody told the truth. So uh, bleedingbluemovie.com is where you can see it. I find that interesting and in that you say it's about a pro-truth movie. Kevin Jackson, thank you so much again for your time and for our viewers again, it's bleedingbluemovie.com. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me on. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.